This is brought to you by the Alumni Association of PISJS. <coughs> hey guys. So we'll be continuing. Hey guys. So we'll be continuing with our units. Uh, at where we from where we left it so now we'll be moving on to the unit conversion I'm sorry for the, so much of powder in there but uh, I just couldn't disable it anyway so moving on first of all the prerequisite of this lecture would be an understanding of ratios. If you know about ratios already, then you are you will be able to understand the entire lecture. If you do not know, in in the case that you do not know ratios, then kindly revise ratios. Or if you have absolutely no idea, then I'll be uploading another video solely on ratios so I will be assuming that you know ratios right now okay so in the previous lecture when we studied prefixes we found out that there are several prefixes for any quantity any measurable quantity for example for mass for grams we had a milligram which meant 10 to the power minus 3, 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 of a gram. For kilogram, this is the prefix kilo, which means 1 into 10 to the power of 3 grams. This, uh, there, uh, we, there can be a megagram, which means 1 into 10 to the power 6 grams. Now what we have essentially done here is that we have represented the larger quantities as the megagram or the kilogram or even the smaller quantities into in and we have <coughs> yeah, represented or expressed it in grams. But what about if I want to express something in kilogram, some, some quantity of grams in kilograms? What do I do then? This is the basic purpose of this lecture. Let me clear all of this. Now first of all there are two types of conversions. The first one would be a simple one-way conversion and the other one would be a two-way conversion. For you. There can be a three-way conversion as well but we would not be going there for you for your syllabus we'll be sticking to these two now let's see let's talk about a one-way conversion let me give you an example of a one-way conversion for example you have a question which says convert 128 centimeters to meters well we all know how we do this it's very simple you know there is a centi before a meter so what we do we just put in 128 multiplied by the prefix here and the prefix of centi is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 2 as we have seen in the earlier lectures we'll just simply multiply it and convert it into meters this would be if you know the standard form and I'm assuming you do this would be the decimal is here it would go here, here and this would become 1.28 meters we have seen this as in let's let me take another example 11 point 
two three kilograms to grams now what you can notice here that we are only using prefixes to do so and we are able to use prefixes because we are only converting them to one standard unit to meters to grams to seconds this is easy even in this case we have 11.23 kilograms so we'll say 11.23 times the prefix of kilo which is 1 into 10 to the power 3 grams just multiply the two because this is a prefix and you will see that since it's three it's it's gonna go on the right hand side one two and three so it's going to be eleven thousand two hundred and thirty grams this is easy using the prefixes is easy but this is not the only solution why for example now you have this kind of a question convert 0 0.123 grams into kilograms now you are doing it the other way around you are not bringing it to the grams but to the kilograms now what happens is that the ratio method comes to the rescue How? We know that one kilogram is equivalent to thousand grams. The question says find how many kilograms is zero point one two three grams equivalent to now you know the basic ratio the basic conversion and this is your question so simply the people who know ratios out there this multiplies with this and since we do not know this we take it as x this multiplies with this this becomes 0 0.123 times 1 is equals to 1000 times x now since we have to find out this x what I will do is I will zero, just divide the thousand both on both sides so equals to thousand times x times one over thousand this thousand and this thousand gets cancelled because of basic multiplication division however what happens here is this gets divided by thousand and this becomes zero point zero 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 one two three kilograms so we used the ratio method to find the measurements the other way around if you can use the prefixes in the simple ones that we did earlier it's totally acceptable but once you get the complicated questions I wouldn't call it complicated but you know the little difficult ones yes you can always use the ratio method let's take another example of the same of the little difficult ones as we say convert one twenty eight millimeters to centimeters now we saw from the thumb rules we know the basic conversion of millimeters to centimeters if you remember the thumb rules that we did in the previous video thumb rules said a one centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeter you will first have to write the equivalent comparison the basic comparison the standard com comparison then you write your question now you have to find out what is the equivalent uh, value in centimeters of 128 millimeters so this can be taken as x and this is 128 millimeters 
now the same ratio method multiply the two of them this becomes 128 times 1 this way and this becomes 10 times x x is equals to 128 multiply sorry I just forgot to do that making it more simple for you to multiply uh, divide 10 on both sides this 128 times 1 is 128 again divide 10 on both sides and this will become x and this will become 12.8 even if you use a calculator so x is 12.8 centimeters and this is equivalent to 128 millimeters it makes sense as in 1 centimeter was 10 millimeters so 12.8 centimeter is 128 centimeter decimal is going on the right in both sides okay let me take another example of the one way conversion convert one kilogram to one uh, sorry to convert let's say 2.1 kilograms to milligrams that seems like a difficult one but we know from the thumb rules now you should be able to interpret the thumb rules one kilogram is thousand grams and one gram is thousand milligrams so one kilogram becomes thousand thousand as in one million milligrams because this is logical as in one gram is thousand milligrams so just multiply thousand by thousand to get the kilograms one kilogram is thousand milligram this is the basic standard ratio now your question says find what 2.1 kilogram is equivalent to in milligrams again ratio and proportion not proportion exactly just ratio 1 times x is equals to 1000 thousand as in 1 million times 2.1 1 times x will be x is equals to 2.1 times a million multiply it in your calculator you will get 2 10 and 5 zeros 2 21 and 5 zeros because this will move six times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 just add a zero every time this is how I do it in my mind so it becomes 21 and 5 zeros milligram so this is your answer these are you can you know with ratios you can solve any problem once you know the basic standard conversion factor so these are the examples of the one way conversions where you are simply what are you doing step one taking a, a basic conversion factor from one of the thumb rules step 2 you place the question in consideration in the ratio the same ratio that you have had from the conversion factor and step 3 solve the ratio it is that simple 
So we are we have talked about the one-way conversions. In our next video, we'll be talking about the two-way conversions. So stay tuned to it, and uh, thanks for watching.